Today, we're going to talk about the importance of customer experience in modern marketing. But first and foremost, Neil, we should define what customer experience is. So most people think of customer experience as like, oh, the design. Don't think about the design of a website or the design of a product. Think about the whole experience. How do they find you? How do they find what they're looking for? How do they, what do they buy from you? When they buy it, are they getting what they're looking for? Are they happy? Is there any miscommunication? It's the whole journey and their experience with your company. Yep. So look, at, at the end of the day, even though this podcast is called Marketing School, I think I'll speak for myself first. And I think maybe Neil can agree with this. It, early days, it was like all about acquisition, acquisition, acquisition. It's like, how can we acquire new customers? It's all about the new tactics. You know, what works, what works, what works. And for me, early days, it, it was all about playing that game. And then, you know, later you understand that it doesn't matter how much you acquire if you have a leaky bucket, because if you can't retain the customer, all the marketing that you do just doesn't matter. So there's there's an element of retention marketing that goes into this, right? And so back in the day, like when I used to look at kind of the direct response marketers out there, they were, especially the affiliate markets, there's exceptional at driving traffic, right? But what they didn't really understand is kind of the retention aspect, you know, what happens afterwards. And so what we want to talk about in this podcast is how you can actually level up your customer experience because marketing does actually play into it. Just because marketing has brought people to the point of sale, it doesn't necessarily mean the, the job is done, right? And the more holistic you can become as a marketer, the more you can think about acquisition and retention, the more you're going to have a better business mind and more that means that you're going to be able to level up more in your career, whether it's promotions or even starting your own business. Yeah. The other thing that I want you to think about is customer experience is adapting everywhere from even the platforms. So for example, in SEO, there's a lot of tactics and strategies you can use to rank higher, such as getting more backlinks. But if you ever do a Google search, are you ever like, man, this number one result is amazing. It should rank up there because it has a million backlinks. That doesn't cross people's mind. They don't care. They're more like, hey, I clicked on a result. Did it give me what I'm looking for? If so, great. If not, let me click the back button and go to the next listing. These are all examples of customers telling platforms. These are signals that they're sending them on if they're getting what they're looking for. So you got to adapt to the customer because if you don't adapt to the customer, eventually you won't do well on these platforms. And yes, you can optimize for keywords on certain platforms or links or likes or comments or whatever it may be. But if you're not optimizing for the customer and giving them what they want and helping them out through all your channels throughout the whole experience when they're interacting with your brand, you're going to lose in the long run. Yep. So I'm going to give you examples from this podcast and also YouTube as well, right? And so when we first started doing this podcast, you, in the very beginning of the first year, it was like 4.9 stars, right? Like hundreds or, you know, thousand plus reviews, right? Now we're at like 4.7, 4.8. And, you know, every now and then recently, you know, we'll, we'll get some some feedback where it's like not the best reviews, right? It's, it's suboptimal. And we're taking that feedback to heart. We're like, okay, how can we level up the, the experience? And so... What we really realized was before when we first started out, like we dropped all of our secrets in the very beginning, like we, we front loaded everything. Right. And then now more so like over the years, we're adapting more to talk about trends and we're, we're kind of um, talking more holistically, like business wise. Right. But we've also shortened the podcast too. So it's like, oh, you know what? We need to kind of go back and look at what, what happened in the old days. Some of our podcasts were like seven to 10 minutes long. Right. And we're like, okay, like now recent days, it's like some have, have shortened a little bit. It's like, okay, how do we lengthen a little more? Cause we know that actually works. So that's an example of looking at that's the, the the qualitative feedback, but also you want to look at the quantitative feedback too. And so when we look at our podcast stats, so this is this is still marketing, right? We're looking at the analytics that, that tells a story. And so at the end of the day, you we're looking at our retention. Is our retention good? And our retention is pretty amazing for this podcast. It's like 88 to 95% per episode, right? And these are five minute episodes. And when we look at YouTube, it's still pretty solid too. And then all our, 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 our views continuing to compound, they are. So now we're like, okay, it looks good there, but we want to level up on, on the qualitative side. YouTube, let, let's let's swat, slide over to YouTube. It's the same concept here. You're looking at your average average view duration, and then ultimately, you're also looking at your click-through rate too, right? And then that's going to kind of define how many views you're getting and how well that video performs. And so, you know, what's going to help your customer experience over time is, again, you look at the analytics, look at the qualitative feedback, look at the quantitative feedback, and then you're able to tell yourself a story there. And then the key thing that you do is you experiment. And the more you experiment, the more you're able to fix over time. But it's just the same thing as marketing. You have to be constantly running experiments. Yeah. And, and when you're running experiments, don't run the experiments to just get more traffic or get more engagement. 
for these platforms. Run experiments to delight your users. And you can ask them qualitative feedback, right? So there's quantitative, which is the numbers that you see in your analytics tool. Then there's qualitative like surveys. What are people saying? For example, with this podcast, we had two one-star reviews for people saying, hey, your episodes are getting too short. Eric and I are like, cool, thanks for the feedback. We don't look at it as like, man, they were mean. We look at it as like, oh, they gave us feedback. Multiple people think this, they're right. That's an example of qualitative feedback. We will then go and adjust based on that to try to improve the overall experience. But when you're looking at feedback, when you're getting the survey feedback, it's not just about, all right, how do I improve my website? How do I improve my checkout flow? It's also, how do you improve your podcasting? How do you improve your blog content? How do you improve your YouTube videos? How do you improve your Instagram and TikTok posts? How do you improve your LinkedIn content? It's everywhere because people engage with you literally on whatever platform is convenient for them, which creates a holistic experience. And if that experience is bad on any one of those platforms or touch points, it's going to ruin your chance of getting a conversion. Yep. The final thing I'll say is, you know, you, we think about the core values that we have in our companies, right? Whether it's Neil's company or my company, you know, one of my, the, the core values is improvement obsession and obsession is a very strong word. And so that means improvement obsessed, not only with our marketing, but how we go about delighting our customers and how we just go about doing anything because how you do anything is how you do everything. And so that is it for today. Please don't forget to leave us a review, an honest review on Apple, on Spotify, or on YouTube. It'll, it'll be very helpful. Neil and I take this feedback to heart. We don't get offended when we get this feedback. We look at it as an opportunity to improve. So thank you for the feedback, good or bad. 